What is consciousness? Who has it? Luckily, there's a test. Even defining consciousness is tricky business because we have these amazing brains that manifest this amazing mind and then we can use this mind to tackle complex computations or to dream up entire fantasy worlds. But when we try and figure out what consciousness is and who we are, we run into trouble. This is where the mind-body problem comes into play, our philosophic attempt to rectify the physical brain with the manifested mind. So can we test for consciousness? Well, we can certainly test for self-awareness, which is certainly a hallmark of consciousness. In 1970, psychiatrist Gordon Gollop Jr came up with the mirror test for self-awareness. Uh, and this is a, a pretty basic principle at play here, because what happens when, when you or I look into a mirror? Well, we see ourselves. We say, hey, that's me, and I can see what kind of shape I'm in, what my hair is doing, how beautiful I am today, right? Well, this uh, particular test involves marking the test subject with a little bit of ink or dye. And what happens when you look in a mirror and you see some paint on your face? You reach up and you touch it, right? You start pawing around, figuring, what is this and how can I get it off of me? The idea here is that they can look in a mirror, see this version of themselves, and identify it as themselves. But here's where things get mind-blowing, because we can take the mirror test or some variation of it and test it on animals. And who can pass it? Well, the great apes, bottlenose dolphins, elephants, orcas, and even one bird, the European magpie. And then there's the octopus to consider. Now these multi-armed mollusks evolved a, a rather complex brain almost entirely independently of mammals. Now they're not as visually attuned as we are, so if you give them the mirror test for self-awareness, they're going to flunk it. They respond to the reflection, but they don't see it as themselves. However, there are plenty of experts who point to other aspects of octopi cognition, such as tool use, learning, and object recognition, as signs that they are in fact self-aware and conscious. So there you have it. We're still trying to figure out what consciousness is. We have this wonderful test for self-awareness, and as we learn more about how the brain works and how consciousness works, we'll hopefully develop even better tools to understand exactly what's going on. So what about you? Do you ever witness any uh, conscious behavior in your household pets? Uh, what do you think when you go to a sushi restaurant and you seek octopi on the menu? Let us know. We'd love to hear from you. You can leave a comment below. You can leave a video response. And don't forget to subscribe for even more mind-blowing videos.